Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim and today I have another Valheim Seed Discovery video for you. These Valheim Seed Discovery videos that I do, I normally look for seeds that have maypoles. And what we do is, is we go over the seed, look at the boss distribution, look at the Valheim map generator, etc. And really go through... Um, what this seed may have to offer you. Now, one of the things that are unique about Valheim seeds are maypoles. They do not occur in every seed. Um, they are naturally occurring and they can, you can have three or four in a seed, or you could have zero. It's really random. Now, you do not need to have a maypole to play Valheim. The maypoles confer to you a plus one comfort bonus, which is, which contributes to your rested buff. So when you go to sleep, if you've got that plus one comfort, it's going to improve your rested buff, I think, the duration. Um, again, not essential, not critical. However, the rested buff is very important when you're fighting bosses, particularly after Ichthyr. I think, you know, you can probably not have to worry about it that much with Elder, but it, it's going to help you. So, Anyways, before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. So, we have a maypole, and there it is. Again, another maypole. Now, this maypole is actually pretty close to the water. That's wide open ocean right there. It's a direct shot. Um, you've got two rocks here on the side. I think this could be dug out a little bit to make a decent port. At any rate, I think this is a pretty solid maypole location for that reason. Got a few piggies running around. That's good news. You've got, just like with most villages, you've got four or five, actually six, uh, raspberry bushes. Now, you can see up here in the distance, there's um, one of those five stone formations which is great if you wanted to build actually is that a five stone yeah it is if you wanted to build uh, something up there those are always um, easy to build a defensible structure on now the reason this is a decent location is we're going to really get up here you can see it's actually almost surrounded by water you have to dig over here but i think you just if you could dig a trench right over here and expand this waterway um, you could have a nice little uh, island right here, a defensible island. Now, it might be a lot to defend, but it really depends on how you build. Some people like to build on a grand scale. I think this has really good potential for a defensive location. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick look here. So here's the spawn. You can run here. Okay, this is, we're right here. Um, you can run here from the spawn, so it's right at about, I don't know, what would we call that? Probably, it's a little higher than 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, right about 11 o'clock from the spawn. So it's easy to get to. It's a nice solo uh, map, I think. It's, you know, the maypole's right on the water. Really, really decent starting location. Let's take a look at the sea generator. So here we are. Here's that spawn, and here's that maypole, okay? You can see off in the distance here, you get a little dark forest. Not a lot, but there's probably enough there to get some core wood, etc. There may be a, um, I bet this coast is lined with a bunch of tin, and there may, if you're lucky, there'd be some copper in there. There's another dark forest biome right here, which is great. That should have enough resources for you. And you've got a little mountain and a little swamp on this starter island, so not too horrible. Um, decent now let's take a look at the bosses where are they not that great right here's a clear here's the thing they're actually up here so north of your maypole location you're gonna have bone mass yagloth motor and elder that's actually fairly solid they're all fairly close in a boat ride um so it's a decent sailing seed in the sense that you're going to have to get on a boat to get to these bosses, but you're not going to have to sail all over to get to these bosses. They're fairly close. 
And this elder location up here looks pretty small. That might be an interesting fight. So in that sense, I think it's a pretty solid seed for the bosses. You're not going to have to travel too far. Um, just go north and you should find them. The trader, however, is an issue. Uh, the trader is really far away. Um, this one here, I think that might be the closest. This one over here um, to the south. I don't remember seeing one. Uh, the trader is an issue. So you've got to deal with that. This trader, I think, is probably going to be the easiest because you've got some open ocean. You could probably get there. Um, and, you know, you've got bosses down here as well, which is great if you, you know, choose to build over here. Um, this part of the map has a lot of mist lands, and eventually you're going to want to go to mist lands. So I think this is a fairly decent seed in the sense that you're going to look at the bosses to the north. You're going to have the trader over here to your west, and you're going to have mist lands over here as well. So I, while the trader isn't great, it's not close, it's, it's well positioned for the future update. So that's a positive. Now, it doesn't mean that um, the map is going to stay the same. Remember that. Um, so, it, However, if you start a world, the map will stay as when you started it. But if you don't, these maps change whenever they have a major update. So, so far, not too bad. Let's take a look at Leviathans. Um, plenty around here. There's a huge... There's five of them right in this big open ocean area between the four bosses that's great you got a few right here by your maypole you should have enough to enough there to get your chitlin for your your razor and your harpoon which is really what we want to see let's take a look at the tomes and crypts um okay it's not great for dark forest on your starter island now you've got three here which is fine um down here i mean Everything here, you know, that should be enough to get you what you need to get going in terms of certainly cores to build portals. I mean, that's really what you need the Dark Forest for. Um, th those, it's great to get some, some loot there, some, some uh, jewels, etc. But really, you want the certainly cores. You're going to get plenty of bones elsewhere in your travels. Um, I don't think that's a big deal. Now... This bone mass is pretty solid. There's a lot of sunken crypts up here. That's pretty good. I don't think you're going to have any trouble with the um, mining operation in, in that sense. Now, the key to this, though, is, is that both of these crypts are very close to the bone mass spawn. That could be very, very helpful. Um, bone mass is a tough fight, I, you know. I don't know how long you've been playing. I've been playing since, you know, since the game came out. Bone Mass still is a tough fight. It's nice to have a sunken crypt right there. You could just shoot right in there. Um, refresh yourself. Um, it's better than dying and having to run back. In addition to that, on top of those sunken crypts, you can usually place a portal and, you know, just enclose it real quickly. So I think that's a very solid Bone Mass location, and there's plenty of crypts there. So that's pretty good. Troll Caves. We want to see a Troll Cave near the Trader, and we do. So in that sense, the Trader isn't horrible. What we're going to do, what, what, what I would do, and what I would recommend is Troll Caves are great places to put portals, right? Because you clear the cave and the entrance, you can enclose it, and then just put a portal and a bed in there, and you're, and you're good to go. So you've got one trip, you build a portal over, you know, at your base get over here to the trader build another portal now of course you could build your own trader base if you want a lot of people do that that's fine but I, I like to look for troll caves it's just easier so there's that what else can I show you let's take a look at the frost cave situation love to have seen some over here that would have been cool we don't have them we've got a couple over here I'm sorry we got one over here at the Yagloth location the motor location, which actually might be a little challenging to get to, you probably, I don't like traveling through the plains unless I have to. Um, I think I may come around, but um, you've got five up here. I don't know if that's going to be enough for you to get all the materials that you want out of that, um, out of those caves to craft what you 
you know, again, I, I don't, the, the new set they came up with is pretty good. I don't think it's great. I'm not using a whole lot of these materials here, but the carpet's cool. Um, you know, and if you want to farm those, five should be enough, and you've got another five down here. I think that's decent. Again, it's not on your starter island. It's close enough. And let's take a quick look at the dragon eggs. Make sure there's plenty around the motor. And this motor location has plenty of dragon eggs, which is good because it's a real pain in the neck to drag them all the way up to motor. Okay, you're probably going to find a broken structure in here somewhere. You can put a port port there, um, you know, make a little base, or maybe you'll find a well and build a, a tower. I don't know. That's a, This is a pretty good mountain biome. It's a good size. This might be a really nice base, so you can farm down here for the materials that you want from the uh, planes as well. So plenty of eggs near motor, plenty of frost caves. It's what we want to see, so that's good news. Um, what else we got? Uh, let's see. Beehives. Yeah, plenty of beehives in your starter island. Again, you're going to need five or six of those. Once you get those, you're all, you're good to go. Um, plenty in your starter island. You just get those early. Um, what else we got? Guck. Plenty of guck on this bone mass, which is fantastic. Um, useful runes, where are the piggies? Not a whole lot near your maypole. So what you're going to want to do here is, is once you get to this maypole, you're going to want to uh, enclose the, the piggies that are running around and start, you know, start your boar farm there. Uh, plenty of boar spawn, though, uh, boar stones near the spawn. So that's good. You can, you know, you, you should have no problem getting boars, but if you want want your own farm, you're going to need to start with the, the boards you have at that location. So what else? Um, tar pits. How is the Yagwath for tar pits? There's a few. I mean, this one down here has got a lot. This Yagwath is that that should be enough. It really depends on how much you want the, the, mater the crafting materials. Um, everybody's preference is different. Some people really like to build in the rustic style of the, you know, early period. Um, I really like the, the, um, I, I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, what you, you need the tar to build them. Those, those pieces, those roof pieces are really nice. So that's a pretty good amount of tar pits by the Yagloth. And then there's some more down here if you really need to go wild on that. Totems. These might be a pain. Um, you got one down here. You got a couple near the Yagloth, okay? And a couple more. Um, you're just going to have to travel around and farm them. I mean, there's the one up here. This might be a really good location to farm some plains resources. Hopefully, there's like a locks or two up here. I could see you, you know, building a quick camp right here. Maybe pulling the locks in to uh, get, get that um, tamed. Or, you know, over here, you've got... Um, you know, you've got a little meadows right here, which is a nice little buffer between the Yakloth, and you've got a little mountains too. Maybe you get lucky. There's a silver vein up there. I'm not sure. Um, let's take a quick look and see if there's any villages over here. Yeah, see this one right there. That's good. Is it a Draugr village though? It is. Even better. Um, and there's a Draugr village up here as well. So these Draugr villages are great. You can farm these for... Um, uh, for the, you know, uh, what what is it again? The innards, so you can make sausages. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but once you've finished, once you've farmed them and got rid of them, you can actually, um, you know, use the bay, use use the structures if you want. Um, set up a portal. There's a couple of towers that they usually have there that are actually decent. So overall, I think the seed is pretty good. Um, I like the maypole location right on the water. I like the fact that it's pretty much, I've got a river running on the east side, I'm sorry, the west side, which I might be able to cut into and expand into a moat all around. And I've got bosses that are reasonably close. And again, this is open water here. And to the north, that's where your boss is going to be, right? Way up here. Um, so I think it's a decent seed. I think overall I'd give it like an eight and a half. 
It's it, or maybe an eight. It's it's not fantastic, but I think this would be a really good seed for someone who's getting you know first getting into the game, or uh, really just um, you know wants a he wants a seed where the bosses are relatively close, but they do have to do a little sailing, and there's not a whole lot of discovery, not a whole lot of surprises. I don't know. It really depends on your gameplay. Um, I think an eight or an eight and a half is a pretty good. Um, measure on this seed. Um, definitely a solo playthrough. I don't see this really being a good modded or uh, like a server seed. Maybe, but I, I just, it, it, it's not that attractive. I think this is definitely a good solo playthrough seed, though. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a good seed for you? Is this something you'd want to try? I don't know that I'd do a playthrough on this one. I think I found some better seeds along the way. But this does have a maypole. It's pretty close to the water. And the bosses are reasonable. Which is very, very important. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Again, thanks so much for coming by and watching my content. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.